My name is Rhapsody and welcome back to Jade Cocoon. Let me just quickly click on the emulator screen, which I accidentally forgot to do beforehand. Last time we left you, we were standing at the Beetle Gate. Um, do I even need to be here? Hmm, interesting question. I want to see if I can teleport directly into the Beetle Forest and where that actually teleports me to. So, Forest Gates. Beetle Forest. Now... In this episode, what I am looking to do is find that dream child thing and brutalate his body. Uh, brutalate, by the way, uh, brutally mutilate is what I am attempting to go for there. Brutalation. Now, it appears to me at this point, I don't remember this, but uh, it looks like enemies clear out of an area permanently once... Nope, okay. <laughs> Just get completely proven wrong as soon as I say that. So now... Uh, do I want a Skawasp? You know what? No, I'm going all in on my, um... Mm, no, I guess I want an Air Dude, actually. But that's a magic using Air Dude. You know what? I'm going all in on my Redraft. So, uh, what I am going to do, rather than fight it and capture it, is summon Redraft, and then attack it with my Horn. Oh, that's a punch. That's not a Horn. But holy shit, is it ever effective. Oh, right. Fire is super effective against air. As you can see, I mean, look at look at the uh, little... Uh, nope, my mouse does not show up on screen. Uh, look at the little square of elements there, right? You've got fire pointing down directly towards air, which is super effective against, pointing down directly towards uh, earth, which points to water. It's, it's all... It's a thing. Uh, it tells you basically how effective they are against one another. Now it's all- You know what? I'm gonna try Agni just to show you it. This is Agni. I really wish it told me how much damage it did so that I could justify its use possibly in the future. Obviously you can see that our dude, Redraft, has grown some elements of his predecessors. Uh, he looks most like the Patemials, because there were more Patemials in him than anything else. But he also looks a little bit like the, uh, the Patalchu, I believe it was, was the other element in there. Well, it wasn't a different element, it was the same element, it's just, it's a Patalchu. Right? It's, don't worry, it's fine. Uh, okay, so there are Makambus down that way. I'm not particularly interested in them. I would only be farming them. Uh, but the thing is, they are water, so they are less um, vulnerable to my fire dude's attacks. Generally, I'm going to want three different elemental slots. And I'm going to want both of the all of them to have some offensive powers. So here's another Patalchu. Do I want to capture this guy? I guess that's my question. I'm going to say no. Uh, I think... Getting 12 dudes and merging 8 of them together to get the dude that I have- Oh shit, no wait, if I'm not capturing I need to kill him with redraw. Yeah. Um... I'm gonna s Sorry, that summon music is amazingly nostalgic for me. Oh, yes. See how we wind up the punch in the exact same way the Patalchu does? See? Really good example of it right there. Um, anyhow, I'm gonna say that more low-level creatures are not going to be good for my redraft. What I need for my redraft is a... Another level 4 creature. And rather than capture 8 level 1 creatures and merge them all together to get a, four, uh, a level 4 creature, instead I'm just going to farm with him and get to a point where I can fight that dude. I think that'll be the quickest progression that I can make. Now, the fight's up here. Excuse me, I am just constantly... Constantly? Mm-hmm. Uh, it's actually Istanbul, not constantly Nople. That's the dumbest joke I ever made. It's not the dumbest joke I ever made, but it is a bad one. So, do not... Um, don't... I... You're not allowed to find that one funny. You probably don't, so good work so far on that. Uh, this... Oh, no, there's the dude. What? Can I not fight him again? Oh man! 
All right, so I just got a weapon. I really wanted to fucking fight that. Do I get like more things if I kill him first? Do I need to restart my game so I can min max and kill him? Yeah, yeah. Uh, okay, so if I equip the Aquazor, I, oh, I have a dagger as well. Okay, so currently I have 23. I will lose two speed. I will gain five magic attack and I will gain two attack. So he's, I'm not using magic attacks. So are uh, two attack worth two speed? I'm going to say no, because if you get two hits off, it's basically like twice your attack. So I'm going to stick with the knife currently. Uh, oh, Skawasp. Holy shit, it's a multi-battle. Oh, yes. Uh, I think we can still only summon one dude. I don't think it's multi on multi. Which, you know, sounds unfair, but then you get dudes with, like, really overpowered abilities. And they just wipe the field clean. Uh, so we almost did half of his life. 13 hit. Yeah, so it looks like it's going to take three hits to kill Potamiel. That's unfortunate. Um, I kind of want Makambu to, yeah, spend all of his time doing nothing. And healing is basically nothing. It should still only take me two hits to ki uh, kill Potamiel. Yeah. So unless Makambu heals this turn, which he does not, uh, we're in a really good position to lessen the amount of people in this battle by one. Nice. Oh, yes. Makambu throws his buttocks directly into the face of Redraft, who promptly rims them and hits him right back. Oh, that's unfortunate. Um, okay, so if he's defending... I'm gonna use the horn attack, the special fire horn attack. I forgot that I had that. Uh, that would have killed the Skawasp in one turn, by the way. That special fire horn attack. I'm not certain how mana regeneration works. I should probably keep an eye on that, actually. Stop fucking defending your bases. Don't heal you, you dick lord. But. I want to see if I can kill him with one horn. Oh, come on, man. It's very effective. Yeah. I thought this was my only attack, but, well, that and the magic one. But no. I had a hidden attack the entire time. Uh, it looks like you do not regenerate mana between turns. So that's unfortunate, but let's see if we do it between battles. Good work, Redraft, by the way. So he's about halfway through that level. Oh, right. So he got seven more mana. Okay. Man. I want to fight that dude again. Come back here. Oh. Yep, yeah, there we go. Cool. Squasp. No, that's not a Squasp. Yeah, it's another Potamiel. Um. Yeah, I'll summon Redraft. I mean, it's just gonna be... This is the unfortunate thing, right? These fights, for the most part, can very seldom be avoided. So you've just gotta wind up, take your hit, wind up, take your hit, wind up, take your hit. Continue. Uh, rinse, repeat, etc. Uh, obviously, killing the Makambu first would probably seem like a good idea, right? Because he heals the other dude. Problem with that idea is that while he does that, the Batamiel gets in way more hits than are fair. And it does way more damage than the Makambu will ever do. Nice work on the critical hit, though. So, while the Makambu you know, heals and makes the Potamiel last for longer. The Potamiel would be on the field for way longer if I focused the Makambu first, because the Makambu would heal himself and just take up all my goddamn time. Uh, which would result in me taking more damage. And I am not a fan of taking damage. I would rather if I could keep that to a minimum. Good work. Uh, and it looks like they heal after battle as well, so I probably won't have to worry about manually healing that guy for a while. Also, I should probably go down the other path. Hmm. Ooh. Oh, these are ground things, right? Yeah, these are the first ground- don't ple please don't have approached me from behind. Yeah, terror afraid. 
So, there's no interaction at all between Earth and Fire, I don't believe. Uh, other than being two of the elements in the famous name of the band, Earth, Wind, Fire, uh, and their classic hit, September. So I should just be able to do this for extra damage. Yeah. Uh, if this guy doesn't start giving a lot- Oh wait, he will give more experience, he's level 3. Maybe I should capture a few Terrafids then. Holy shit. Fuck, he can kill me in one shot next. I need an item. I can't use items? Are you actually... Are you kidding me? Uh... So I... I... My... My base man does not get experience for killing things. I don't get capture level, I don't get anything of the sort. So what I need to do is hit him one more time, swap out, and then hit him for the final bit. Please don't kill him. I should have known, not even pow powerful enough to try. In fact, I could hit him again, but now that I am at 69, the perfect amount of health, I'll just sub back out. Oh shit, I just remembered, you're not supposed to whistle into a microphone, it creates a horrible noise. My apologies for anyone who was harmed in the making of that whistle. I'll keep it in mind from now on, I, I forget occasionally, but it is, it's cool, don't worry, it's fine. I'm sure you'll live through it. Okay, so we leveled up. One plus to attack, one plus to speed. I mean, that's what I want, more attack and more speed, so. It's just I also want him to have more abilities. Uh, I'm not certain if I actually want to venture up there and fight that dude yet. Because those things are actually pretty powerful. That's, uh, the noise of regretting fighting things. Uh, I think I can kill these. They're Earth, though. Oh, okay, whatever. Fuck me, I guess. They're air. Um, they look like they are attack and speed. So maybe they're what I want for attack speed builds? For air, at least. I mean, I have my attack speed build for fire. I mean, it's weak, but I have it. Uh, actually, I can kill it in one hit if I use the horn fire attack. Told you. And I have enough speed that I can just turn around and do it again. <laughs> I like this area. Oh, yes, I do. Good work, Redraft. So, oh, right, there's the key. So that's a skeleton key. I think that actually opens any chest. So we may not want to use it on early area chests because it opens any chest anywhere. So we can use them on later game chests. So maybe I uh, hold on to some of those. I, I think in the early chests, you don't find anything significantly worthwhile. Uh, I hope I have enough mana to do this twice. Oh, I totally do. Awesome. So the thing is, uh, this is my only, like, fire-based attack other than Agni, which is the magic one, of course. So it's the one I want to use most often when I'm fighting air enemies. Great Walnut. <gasps> Shit! Great Walnut! I remember they're really important. What do, what do Great Walnuts do? Bring something back to life? What's a Great Walnut do? Great Walnut. Description. A nut packing energy for sprouting a new tree strengthens the body and protects against aging. Oh! Okay, so it's a full heal, but it also is like an HP up. Um, th I think there are ones of those for your minions as well. And those are the ones that I thought were really good. So there's the skeleton key. Stop. I keep going into the menu while trying to run. I do it consistently. It's because, in my mind, circle is run, right? It's it's just how it's meant to be. And triangle is menu if you have your menu on one of the X square triangle circle buttons. But no, this game wants to subvert convention and have the fucking... I don't even know what square does. I don't think you square in this video game at all. 
I'm pressing square, nothing's happening. Uh, okay, so I'll use my standard attack. If this kills it in one hit, I'm gonna feel real dumb about doing all those things before. But it didn't, so I feel fine. Uh, I feel fine and dandy. Let's... Okay, so I actually don't have enough for Agni. I wish, really wish it would tell me, like, a, uh... A mana score? Or, like, a mana price or something like that? But no. So this is interesting. Uh, if I'm actually gonna be working them down and not... Knocking them out? And if they look to be an attack and speed build... I'm considering just working both of them down and then capturing them. I mean, I have all of these Firefly cocoon shells, what else, etc. blah, right? I have all these empty cocoons. I may as well put things in them. Not in that manner at all. See, it attacked twice, I think. I don't know, I was looking at the recording screen. So, uh, I'm gonna guess that they are very fucking speedy if they're already speedier than my level 5 dude. Okay, let's capture this one. Get ready for it. Ooh. So, the slow pacing of this game, for the longest time when I was considering recording this game, for this, I was thinking, it's really slow paced. So... He plays a different tune. That's cool. I did not know he did that. Anyway. Or not remember, rather. <clears throat> for the longest time, since it's such a slow paced game, I was thinking, you know what? I'll record this one with face camera. Which is just a camera of my face, uh, so that you could see me expressing and emoting while all the slow things were happening. Uh, but the thing is, what that would ultimately become is me dancing along with this fucking move. That one right there. All of the time. Just every time he does it. And the Nagi woman, uh, Mabu, praying over her little shrine, I'd do that too. And then when he does the jump in the air, I'd stand up and do the jump, right? Probably, I mean, even among people who record video games and put them on the internet, probably a little too nerdy, right? <laughs> Possibly. Uh, sounds pretty cool. I think I might rinse and repeat next encounter I get in with those squoops, I believe they were called. Uh, wait, shit, that sticks out from the environment. Can I pick that up? Can I? Can I fucking... Can I pick that up? Is that is that a thing I can pick up? Do I get mugwort home? Can I pick that up? Can I pick that up? What if I, what if I press X? <laughs> okay, I determined that that is part of the background. Uh... Right... So, now I have explored the whole jungle and I have... Oh, no! There's still the path up to that those steps where the dude is that I didn't want to fight. Okay, cool. Uh, I actually don't want a Patash at all. So, I'm just gonna summon a dude to beat the living Jesus out of him. You know what, Makambu, now's your time to shine if you're ever gonna do it. I think his only attacks are a basic attack, so I don't actually think he even has a water attack. Oh shit, he totally does. That's really cool. Uh, I, and Medina is health. Oh, it does have a mana cost. It blinks up on the mana, but... Oh, that's really dope. Dope, dank, bull. Bull. What the fuck is bull? Also, we're very uh, resistant with fire abilities. So, yeah, if Makambu's ever going to have any value, he's going to have it right now. So, I decided to give him that chance. Give him that opportunity, guys. What if Makambu turns out to be the most important dude we have? I mean... Oh, no, I don't know when this episode is going to release, so I can't tell you spoilers for XCOM Enemy Unknown. Oh, oh well. Uh, you can't get away from me. I am the gingerbread man. Wait, is it the gingerbread man who can't get away, or things can't get away from the gingerbread man? I'm not certain. I've not spent a lot of time watching Shrek 2. That's where the gingerbread man is- No, he's also in Shrek 1, I guess. So that's where the gingerbread man myth comes from? Shrek, right? Yeah. Uh, also, now knowing that it takes two hits to kill a Patash from 7 health... Pfft. Uh, I could water attack him again. Nah. 
It's fine. He can't actually do damage to me, and I know he can't heal himself because he's only got Agni as his only magic ability right now. This is obviously assuming that Patashas are just like Makambus and they don't have more than one magic ability. So I guess that may be a flawed assumption, but it turned out pretty well. Makambu levels up. One plus in all stats. Uh, nine in health, four in mana. That's pretty good. See, you'll see he's along the magic scale at the bottom. He's just, he's not speedy. He's not defendy. He's bullshitty. He's just not good. Uh, okay. You know what? There was a shrine back there. Where the Patash were. I don't think they respawn until I at least leave the jungle. Fuck, man. A lot of these things in the background look like I can pick them up. I'm gonna try. Just... I'm gonna try for a while on different things in the background. And if I find after a long enough time that literally nothing can be picked up, then you know what? Nothing can be done about it. Nothing can be picked up. But if even one of them rewards me for trying to pick it up, then get ready for an absurd amount of me interacting with objects in the background. Oh, there will be hours of it. Okay. It so looks like I can collect that. Whatever. Let's kill this. Uh, fuck. Macambu is actually not going to benefit from this. I'm going to summon a redraft. The thing is, Macambu will not benefit from this because he is currently level 3, which means I believe he has to kill 4 more of them, and I'm not going to fight 4 more water. Sorry, 4 more fire things. So, he's just not going to have a chance to show his true potential. <coughs> okay. Tash. Boom. Welcome to the grave. So yeah, tiny little smidge of an experience for uh, feed draft there. But, you know. Ooh, more scorps. Squirp? Squarp? Squoop? Squoop. Squoop. Squoot. Whoop. Whoops. Uh, actually, I think Feedraft may have leveled up. No, he hasn't. He hasn't leveled up since he last fought these dudes. So, therefore, uh, I can still put them down to two by attacking them twice, right? Yes. Excellent. This is going to give me a level three or four. I think three, actually. Four? It's going to give me an air dude that's fast and also uh, high in an attack stat. That's all I want. That's all anyone really wants in life. An air dude that is fast and high in an attack stat. That's why everyone fucking picks up Pidgey on Route 1, motherfucker. Route 1? Route 2? What is it? I think it's... I think Route 2 is the one directly outside Paddle Town in the first game. I, I don't think Route 1 is actually... I think Route 1 is saved for victory? I don't know. Can't fucking remember. All I can tell you is people pick up Pidgey fucking instantly. And there's a reason for that shit. Dude is a baller, a shot caller, and he wishes he had a girlfriend who looked good because he'd call her. But at the same time, dude's fucking fast ass. Uh, has a decent attack stat. Fucking... Endeavor some bitch down, quick attack him, and the game. If you don't know high level Pokemon strats like these, unsubscribe! That's an old joke. I used that in the Risk of, Risk of Brain fucking Rogue Legacy episodes at the very start. <laughs> All I would do is I would make an obscure reference to something and then tell people to unsubscribe if they didn't know what it was. Uh. You know, if you want to unsubscribe, feel free to. If you don't enjoy my content, but I'm not seriously telling you to. It's up to you. Make your own decision in that regard. <clears throat> we'll capture this final little scorpion dude and then continue onwards. Shit, dude. It's 10 p.m. 
Which means I only have another four hours to record. Oh yes. Dedication to my craft. I, actually, I was... That's the thing. For a lot of stats I was doing recently, I was going through old Hearthstone um, video. Oh, another great walnut. Cool. I was going through old Hearthstone videos, uh, and it's kind of, like, to me, really interesting to see how greatly the quality differs from the first episodes uh, to even the 20th, and then the 40th, and then the 60th, 80th, and then... 98th is the most recent recorded as of the time of the recording of this episode. Uh, and I think that's wholly, like, I mean, it hasn't been a large amount of time. It's only been a few months, but I think that's holistic, holistically. Wow, what the fuck am I trying to do with that word? I think that's wholly just to do with the fact that I've, you know, published two episodes a day, every day. So, yeah. That's a story you didn't need to know, but if there was ever a point to it, it would be, if you like something, do it forever. All the time. If you get any free time, go do it. Why not? You like it. And I like doing this. And if you do something enough, you generally get better at it, so you'll get better at doing that thing you like. These are just straight up life tips. Uh, it actually doesn't do a significant more amount of damage to do my horn attack. Fuck. This dude. Oh my god. Can I kill him with the horn attack? Okay, cool. He can't kill me in the next attack unless he criticals, so I can kill him. Oh. Shit. Those things are terrifying. Well, they are called terrafids, so I imagine they probably... But yeah, if you like something, do it a lot, and you'll become better at it quicker. Or more quickly than you'd think. Uh, I think Chorus lives up here, right? Yeah, Chorus lives in there. Yo, what up, buddy? So, <laughs> the son of the Lion of Peril is even more talented than I had thought. Yeah, man. I looked up the Calabas herb in my books, but in the end, I found nothing. You don't look like a guy who likes books. However, there is a folk tale that describes a dust that wakes the sleeping. That must be the Calabas herb. It is the story of a wondrous powder kept by a half bird, half man named Kikinok, who oh. lives in the dragonfly forest. I love Kikinok. I remember him. Calabas leaves. Oh, this, oh, I need it. This is only a guess. And I, ne I need to be in the Dragonfly the Forest right now, talking to Kiki Nog. The key to the Dragonfly S Gate. You should have it. <sighs> oh, cool, Dragonfly Key. You'd better head straight back to the. She may know something about the tale of Kiki Nog. I trust you. She probably will. I mean, the Divine Spirit defies the Great Father and throws off his shackles. He is now bound to the chains of freedom. Deep. Three deep, five me. Oh, does it send us back to town? Can we actually not? Yeah, it totally does. Man. Oh, and we have to have a conversation with Garai about this shit. So, even Chorus does not know? But I do remember hearing the tale of the Birdman. Yeah, yeah, I'm sorry you did. There is a similar story of divine spirits in Nagi legend as well. I get an option? No! We should Not a fucking chance! I don't want to hear the story the of the creation the of this universe. I don't want to go through Genesis to Deuteronomy. Just the leave me alone but be warned, and let me breed creatures in no peace. Match for the denizens within. And be sure to ask the old grave. No. He is the story. Nah, not gonna do that either. I'm trying to give you as much of the story as possible, but at a certain point. I can't give you any more story without ruining my own enjoyment of the game. And if I ruin my own enjoyment of the game, I will ruin your enjoyment of watching a Let's Play of me not enjoying the game. So, there. 
Also, we are reaching the end of this episode. I'm just going to do some quick merges uh, for the scoops that I bought. Bought. Captured. Whoops. Um, and then we will, yeah, move along. So, Squirt goes with Squirt. Yeah, gotcha. Oh, shit. Squirt goes with Squirt. And then, yep, gotcha. Look at this. You can't skip it. You can't skip- I'm pressing all the fucking buttons on the controller, man. I'm pressing buttons that didn't exist on the original PS1 controller that were only introduced with PS2 and subsequently also exist on the PS3 controller. But nothing. Fucking nothing. You can be named Squirt. Yeah, merge once more. Let's get a squirt with a squirt. Interesting. I wonder what'll happen. I wonder if they become bigger every time you merge one with one. When they're the same. Because hmm. I know you affect their physical... I mean, I demonstrated at the very start of this episode that you would affect their physical because you see, like, he's kind of... Feed draft to this is. He's kind of like Patal Shoe, and he's kind of like uh, Padamir. Potato? The insect one? Excellent. Now, the final one we need to do is a squirt with a squirt. What? He's defensive? I thought he was speedy. I don't want this bullshit. So he's got. Ooh, he has a poison claw, though. Poisoning your enemies is... Alright. Alright. I'll let you have it just this one time, but only so that I have a decently balanced party in terms of perspectives of, uh... In terms of the perspective of elements. No. Fuck, just remove the word perspective. Don't need it. In terms of elements. Uh, now, after all of that, you are given the honor of having a name. What is going to be the name of Squirt? I've decided to take... The, first off, I, I name them using a dictionary. I find two nouns with less than five letters each, and then that's their name. I put the nouns next to each other. So, because he is a wind creature, I'm going to search in W first. Valedictorian, Victusitude... Uh, hey. walk. So he's walk. Maybe I name him after Christopher Walken. I don't know. Um, if you don't like that Christopher Walken impression, unsubscribe. That's an old joke. If if you remember that from the first time I told that joke, whoa, you are a huge nerd. Um. All right, and in I, I have found inch. Uh, no, it's supposed to look like a name, so small. There we go. Walk inch. Ooh, that's that's almost too close to walking. That I am probably going to continually say walking things while playing as said character. Walk inch. See, it doesn't even look like a dumb name. It's like a totally normal name. I'm gonna try merging some more. No, I will equip Walkinch to my inventory. And then, yes. Done. After all of that is done, it is time to do the moonwalk while turning around, and then walk backwards into our save point. Save the video game under whatever name possible. Rhapsody, I guess, just because that's my name. That's it. That's this episode done. If you've liked the episode, please click like. It does help me grow my channel and get my content out to new people. If you dislike the episode, feel free to do that as well. If you want to see more videos like this in the future, subscribe to my channel. If you want to see more videos like this now, you'll be able to find a link in the description down below to a playlist with all of the content I've ever done and ever will do for Jade Cocoon, the JRPG on PS1. My name has been Rhapsody. This has been Jade Cocoon, the JRPG on PS1. The... Not the only one. They think Final Fantasy VII was also on the PlayStation 1. It's one of them. It's a pretty damn good one as well. Anyhow, summarizing, 
like if like, dislike if dislike, sub, etc, blah blah blah, whore whore whore, and that's not whore 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 as in H-A-W, that's W-H-O, a huge man whore, is what I feel like every time I say those things. Regardless, my name's been Rhapsody, that's been Jake Coon. hopefully you've been enjoying yourself, and we'll see you next time.